Hello everyone, it is me Peep Peep, and welcome back to Undertale Yellow. We're gonna see how far we can go today. Let's get into it. Um, oh, we're in this area. Hiya! Swell job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. The cactus, this town is quite the spectacle, is it not? <laughs> I would bury myself in its sand if I could. Yep, yep. Ain't that nice? Hey, kid. I've been so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Oh, what is this? A bedroom. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. Oh. You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft! Oh, I love that. You push the hammock. Its sway is hip is hypnotizing. It's surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. Weird. You haven't seen any cats around. A couch, not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. A few videotapes with custom labels stu stuck on them. My favorite movie! My second favorite movie. No one watched this one, zero out of ten. Sad face. You turn on the TV on. This is your favorite channel! That was nice music in there. Oh. Okay, let's go in here, I guess. Oh, it's like a hospital? Several odd smells seep from the dresser. You decide not to inspect it further. A closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. You don't know what you're looking at, but it's probably dangerous. A nap sounds nice, taken anywhere but here. The drawers are the drawers are filled with clean-ish sheets and pillowcases. A nap sounds nice. Okay, I think it's just all the same. Hello, welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Hurt? Yes, of course. We have the tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30G, I can overchange, overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine. Who said I was qualified? What do you say? Deal. I'm going to need the exact payment. Sorry. Gotta keep the doors open somehow. Oh, I don't have enough, I guess. Hello. Hello. I'm here for the fee lollipops. I have to check myself in the dog shed. He ran out of wild pop yesterday. Um, at least I have this fluffy bed to chew me up. Aw. Should we go back in here? No, something else in here. I think it just made me leave. I don't know. Oh! You gotta be- you gotta get me out of here, kid! I have family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I miss! I didn't do nothing bad. I swear! Glover! I knew I could count on you. So me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway, that Sheriff North Star was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. You really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... No, am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. As a or another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free? I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Ugh, what a day. I'm sorry. I'll help you someday. What's up? Um, about Marlette. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. 
See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She's threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her. I've just heard we look alike. Not dying. Can I see what's on here? News. Oh. Metaton? Monday? Wait, Metaton was here, right? No? Am I wrong? I don't remember Metaton at all. Hey! I'm thinking of the wrong game, sorry. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the profits. You should try it out. Nay, 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 I say. But I am a horse, each and every day. I crunch upon carrots and munch upon hay. But a shy horse I am, so please go away. I love you. Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is simple card game of the match matching variety. It costs three G to play with potential profit. Intrigued? Sure. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of um, 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six type card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. One, Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserve 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25G. Under a minute, you will be rewarded 15G. Anytime after that, we will allow you to break even with 3G. That deck is empty, there are no responsible- No possible matches left. You will lose with no reward. You understand? Yeah. Let us play. Wait, what? I thought it was going to be like a game where I don't get to see the cards. Man, I kind of wish I did it again. Oh, that's not fair. Dude. <laughs> oh well. A shame. Would you like to play again? Nah, I'm good. Very well. I don't want to lose another 3G. I'll be really sad. Hello? Howdy. You got any of that? Any of that good catnip? I've been dying to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. <laughs> you were almost tricked. I could have uh, caught you and turned you in for the feisty five. <laughs> be more careful, partner. Two boxes of rubber pellets sit on the desk. Just leave them for someone who needs them. Got junk? Sell it right here at B Black Jacks. Today's special fancy um, holster, great for defense. An unfinished game of Go Fish lies on the table. Guess they fall through. Greetings. Take a gander. Just don't touch anything. Wild Revolver. What the, you're too young. I don't need none of that. Take my patch. That's it. The Feisty Five! Ask your way! I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. <sighs> young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans I'm forced to put up with 
to keep my business afloat. Wow. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches. <laughs> Your wares. Ah yes, my gallery of babies. Uh, that sounded strange. <laughs> These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forged them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. I stare, start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I can also know I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. Ah! I, I saw a bandit in my rafters. Visitors? The Wild East gets many, vis gets many visitors each day. There is something about the aurora here that some monsters can't get enough of. Now, don't worry, I'm not selling ultra deadly weapons to any passerby with enough GE. Make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. I myself am not for violence. Well, Use enough times consecutively, they could be lethal, but then again, a ballet shoe could also be lethal used enough times. Look, don't question my mortality too much. I'm not prepared to speak about it. History. I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seems like quite the perfect town for such a shop. Do I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters every day? But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it bounces out. Cool. Thanks, buddy. I'm out of here. Naughty 5000. There's a key. A giant lock prevents. I'm you to exit. Kind of overkill. Hello? Nothing. Can I get on this bridge? Let me on the bridge. What is this? What, can I pick it up? An old necklace scarred in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it. That's a necklace. So, how do I get out of here? I don't understand. Can I sell the necklace? Should I sell the necklace? I don't think I will. That's a lot of G, but I don't think I will. Now what? Did I go back and do something? I saw that one guy, maybe? I wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. That block isn't totally pointless, haha. <laughs> I just gotta go back, I don't know. Are you ready to begin? Yep. To talk to the townsfolk, explore every nook and cranny. You're gonna need it if you wanna be good, deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my, um, coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. And I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Here we go! <laughs> Alright everyone, come here! What you want, boss? Oh, are we going to begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every now outside the house, back and forth, whispering to yourself? What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. There's monsters. Ahem. <laughs> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hinting at? Oh, oh, I know! Yes, Mooch. A duel! Bingo! Hmm, please don't be hard. No, 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 this is all wrong. 
Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered, practically decomposing. And an iron in their hol holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it, Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has a point. Kind of host my if I don't spoil you with gifts. Go up the store. Dressed to impress? Okay. <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I have to borrow his wares and a break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force! I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors! Get off my property, North Star! I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball! Oh, come on, partner! I don't even know what a gumball is! And those last transactions were ages ago! I'm a changed monster! You lost one of my premium revolvers last week! Frolic in your sandstorm and whatnot! Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child. You see, I was joking. They're just a weary, very small, but very tough monster. Uh, I'll give you a 400G. Why don't you open up with that kind of patron? Come inside and with me and I'll fetch for the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. What the heck? Okay. What is happening there? Done and done. Can I get a yee-haw? Yee-haw! Right, moving along. He's such a goofy guy. Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six-shooter as a gift from me. We got a wild revolver. Hooray! Yippee! Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, and loud. Sand covers a dummy. Check. Attack, uh, just dummy. Let's practice your shooting it. it. Smells like lead and burlap. You attempt to speak with a dummy. Your star is confused. Uh, actually, that's good. The intimidation of your opponent can increase their focus. Good thinking, Clover. Then covers a dummy. You intimidate the dummy more. It does nothing. Let's practice your shooting now. Okay, can I try it one more time? See what, if anything happens? No, I just care. Okay. Pew. Oh. Alright, it's alright, partner. Dragon. Smells like lead and burlap. Mighty fine job. Give another go. There you go. One more. Pew. Pew. Oh. Nice shooting. I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. You definitely passed this part of the training. <laughs> I gotta tell Kiroba about this. She's a big tough doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on! Kiroba, guess what just happened? You locked up another real guard against their will? Hey! Feathers was, was a furious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round on train. They are quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really, a child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. <laughs> Clover can hold their own and then some. And now I'm just very impressed. I feel like she's trying to make fun of him. Like, oh, a child's better than you. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have, a sp I have a spare somewhere in my house. Over. Wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Kiroba. It should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner.
Hey, what's up, man? Tell me, truly. Are you into all this? Nah. Sorry that stars dragging you around so much then. I mean, it's cool, but I don't... I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't really care for guns, but... It's silly. I'm having fun, but I don't really care. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but... It's nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his par parents talked to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. They used to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back. Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here. You got a nice hat. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed by we're standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Dumb Troba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. I'm, I'm not. Giddy up, partner. This town has plenty to see. What? I don't know what to do now, dude. I just want to finish doing what I gotta do. Howdy. Okay, I don't know what else to look at, though. I looked at everything. I wanna. I want. Oh, she's gone. Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Yep. Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's quaint, keen eye for fashion, we looked a little, de took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. Agree. Clover looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That's new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for a bit. It was real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. You could have sent me in to get it. You know, I'm the best neg um, negotiator. You might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Mm, totally. Let's get the mission already. To the mission already. Right, you're right, you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. Squonk! <laughs> it's time for us to duel! You mean duel? That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with a ooh -ah instead of a ooh sound. Duel? Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. That's my frontier gen. Where was that? Oh yeah, it's time to, to participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, provide Clover with this designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll, uh, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Get off my back, will ya? Alright, it's finally time to go ahead to head. Wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly so press in to interrupt the mission again? Forgot the safety glasses? Gee, boss, you would've hurt Clover. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bringing the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames splash with my uniform. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Now we're in business. Alrighty, Clover. We're going to take ten paces to turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Aw, oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You gotta wait for the signal for it. Ain't fair. Let's try one more time. Oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. I got him! <laughs> He's dead! Star, Star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm sorry! Who will you give your inheritance to? Inheritance to? Not you. Heck, Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all sweet, um, sweltering at stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone and must carry that weight in your bag. I don't care. I wouldn't care. I'm gonna do a Gino route one of these days, and I won't care! I won't care! I hope it didn't scare you. I felt a little sad, though. Right now, you know? Just a little sad. Anyway, you pass. I'm waiting in the saloon, saloon again. When you're ready for mission three, I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Okay. Use your iron. Also, I'll be needing these glasses. Let's hurry up and do the last one. Everybody's like gone. Hello, aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. I went down to visit my little Moray. My lovely wife Angie is running in the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Nah, uh, it's a risk worth taking. Hi, right, partner. We're about halfway done with your train. Halfway. You're up so fast. Ready to continue? Follow me. Oh my gosh. I'm tired of his shenanigans already. Halfway done? Oh, this is gonna be such a pain. That sounds so mean, but I, I just want to move along. I don't care to keep fighting you anymore. You'll know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. Oh, are we actually gonna be done? Hooray, let me leave. Hello? Where's everyone? Sorry about this, Clover. They should be here any second. Star, what is happening on the west of it? End of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably. They are! Bye, George! This must be an attack from the vengeful Virgil. Vengeful Virgil? Who's that? Girl, but come on! We drew this wanted poster last month! It's on the news board! You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything! Um... Oh yeah! Well, you better go stop him then! What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this clover. What? Something interesting's happening! Hooray! Yippee! Uh huh. You sure saw? You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. <gasps> hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here! No, to keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just untie them. Risk being tricked to a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgo wants. What? It's a scary star. I'm afraid you must choose which track the train travels on. Yeah, choose Ed! Much, you are dead to me. Unless Star chooses you instead. That's cool. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Of course! Clover, you know, don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault, but many monsters will get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be by your hand, but only Ed gets hit. Not as much as a sacrifice. But I do deserve this. We're out of time! If only we could've untied everyone. If only. You gotta choose now, Clover! <laughs> Imagine if I just save Ed. I kinda want to. I think I'm gonna save Ed. Goodbye, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! You owe me for this! Clover, I thought we were friends. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Clover likes me more. <laughs> That's too funny. Now, now. This decision was a tough one. Having the cash TP on your hands is a lot to handle mentality. 
I'm mentally. There are a lot more to it than that, Star. This is a deep scenario that requires a lot of thinking. You don't have time for thinking. <clears throat> this was a test of judgment in Clover Past. Past? How exactly? <laughs> Quitting being so technical about everything, Moray. <laughs> I wanted more people to die. Clover saved Ed. That's pretty good. Yeah, Clover's great. I can't tell if that was an insult. Anywho, I see you uh, at the usual spot, kid. Come to me when you're ready for the final mission. <sighs> see you around. Hey, is anyone got on Tayo's? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that'll be important later. You know, poor Ed, no one likes him. Okay, my pinch is only so strong, Clover. I hope you're not planning to actually stay here. These bozos are below you. I highly suggest that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself get distracted from the real mission. I'm sorry, Flowey, but I can't leave until we're done doing this bozos thing. Howdy. Man, I'm excited for this. Have you done everything you wanted? Got some man to save some lives? Yes. Let's get going then. I'm ready to leave. Final call. Get on cl over here. Oh, they got on time. Are you all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. So, Clover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the reg rege um, regiment. Anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Yes! Yes! All I did was just talk to you and be awesome, and I get it, and your, you know, minions don't get it. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the wildies, bucko. They pass their training like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. That last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run the, to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that it slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. This is just peachy, getting this attention and all. Now come you waltz in here and start instantly makes you jeopardy. We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons, le less lessons for short. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around with the snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, he made me pick pocket monsters by the, um, oasis. Star didn't make you do that. You know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement! Feisty 4, here we come. Time to get feisty! Yes! Distract. You point at the hospital uh, frantically. They don't notice. So you're the new deputy, eh? And you shouldn't have a problem doing dodging this. Whoa! How do I dodge that? Mori leans on Ed to rest up. I don't understand. Steady. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. Die? Smirk. You smirk at the four an um, antics. They're trying. Okay. Good luck. Ah! 
Mario leans on edge rest up. Good hog and clover. It's my time to shine. Huh? What the flip? Mooch and Ace are playing 52 card pickup. You fire your gun at the bell, you hear a nice ring. That's for the train insults, Mooch. Let's see if you can pass round two, kid. I don't understand how to get past that. I need the root beer, I guess. I talk to Edward. You're doing a good job as well, Clover. Ready for this? Oh my gosh. Ah. Now quit holding it back, everyone. Use your trump cards. My turn, my turn. I love their innovations, so cute. I'm gonna die, but that's okay. I I wanna redo this anyways, because I know their attacks now. All right, let's team up for an attack. Oh, I would be honored. How to dodge that stupid attack? Hey! Oh man. Thank you, finally. When the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here. You made me waste a bunch of items. I hate all of you because you made me waste a bunch of items. 
I don't know how to play games. Why are you doing this to me? I'm about to buy a bunch of items because you guys suck. And you're mean to me. I don't like you. You know, I should have just ran you both over with the train. We felt your training was lackluster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of lessons for this. I ought to lock you away with feathers. Star, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie. It's true, this hasn't been any fun. What are you all blabbering about? This is the most loud this town has ever been. Like, why does everything have to be a spectacle, huh? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader. The monster who could make their own fun in little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Should I? Starlo? Why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't affect me no more. It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends are do, Star. I know what this is about. You all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover has shot circles around you and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. Man, Clover. Everyone loves you, but, you know, no Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. The fact I think they should carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resign from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now. I'll still be the Feisty Five without you, so go ahead. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work with under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Fine, I was considering finding y'all anyway. Girl, but you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Star alone? You're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I knew once knew. I try to brush it off as you have fun at first, but this volatile use thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. Oh man, that's so sad. That's North Star to you. Aw, there they go. Sorry, buddy. Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I, I need to think. I can fix this. Oh my gosh. Howdy! I was afraid things would escalate nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. I could talk to him, but honestly, I don't really care. I don't even get out of here. I just want to leave, man. Your friends wasted all my items. I don't care anymore. Here we are. Howdy! I was hoping Starlo ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do what you do best. I'm all for ya. Oh man, we gotta talk to this guy. Do I have enough stuff? Why why the why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn, I tried to cheer Koa. I just wanted Kanoko off, off their mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Our distractions, what's best for all of that? Oh man, you. Yeah. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you showed up. It specifically mentioned you was, um, you as the problem. He did not say that. That's right. I was just being a good friend. I made you, you who you are, yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gotten out that Feathers hadn't flocked in eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be ripped. Revered not only in the Wild East, but the entire underground. I'd... 
but you've been an excellent deputy, but as a long man, what I'm about to do is embed in my soul, my tread duty. Don't, don't take this difficult, make this difficult for me. Just hold still. Oh my gosh. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Showdown! I have like no item. Fight. A chomp! You chomp and pull at the lasso, but only gets tighter. Ugh, you're tied up, you're skilled. Sure have an eye for talent. But I was also gripped too tightly. Blair. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterbox. Still. Part of me wishes things would have stayed this, the way they were. I think this is really cool. Though kind of weird to get used to. Probably keeps a steady eye on you. What's up, foot of my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. I knew I was gonna die. Should I fight him? No. It's the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Huh? I don't understand. I'm gonna die a lot. It's squirming so much. Oh my god. You gotta understand. I don't understand, and I wish you would stop. As much as I like the mechanic, I just hate fighting. Uh, oh. Okay, sorry you can't hear the audio. I have to exit the game, and I'm not doing that because I just won, so you can't hear this part of the audio, so whatever. One. I have one left in my cham chamber. I'll make this count. His left hand is shaking. I can't move! Starlo! Stop this right now! Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlo I grew up with. Oh my gosh! Saroba. Kuroba, now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm... I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just want it to be appreciated, revered by all. 
I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. I have every right to make fun, but... It's so sad! Oh, he's bald! I'm just kidding. Oh, wow, look at him! What a different fellow. This is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff, just some nobody farmer. Don't see that star. You may not be a real sheriff, but you're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah. I suppose I'm kind of cool. Darn right. But this whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. Mm hmm? I also did it to cheer you up. You might have wanted, wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you. Because of... Kanako. <gasps> I, um, appreciate that, Star. I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun as it is to have duels and catch bandits, there's a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old Steamworks Gate. They'll speak there. Suroba, come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard her. Clover, Clover! Really? More dialogue? Just let me stop so I can not have it sound weird. So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Turns out the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Her name is, um, Kuroba. You probably met her already now that I think about it. She broke my cell with um, magic six, a magic staff and let me go. I also made sure she knew I couldn't tell Asgore about this. So now that that's taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back on my world, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least lock in... The royal guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is, told, uh, is totaled. It was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Grover encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. So hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. Finally, I can move. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't worry, the audio will be better, and I finally finished this guy, so... Don't forget, I was here. Yes, my friend Lego was here. May 1st. <laughs> yes, May 1st. Okay, what are you doing back here? The exit's the other way, silly. Let's get going. Okay, anyways, see you all for the next part. Goodbye, everybody.